With new COVID-19 cases steadily declining, many people are wondering whether they need to take a vaccine booster. India's vaccination numbers reflect this reluctance even as newer vaccines are being launched. Government data shows only about 30% of eligible population has taken a third or booster dose till date. On the other hand, there are healthcare workers, the elderly and those with comorbidities who took the booster dose from 6 months to a year ago. They want the government to allow a fourth dose for them given their greater vulnerability to the disease. But senior officials in the health ministry say their focus is on expanding coverage of third dose, especially among the high-risk groups. COVID-19 cases are at an all-time low in India currently, despite the presence of multiple sub-variants of the Omicron variant that caused a surge in China, Hong Kong, the US and other countries. Therefore, we do not see any reasons to rush on allowing a fourth dose. A decision will be taken on the subject when the need arises, said a senior ministry official. The US, UK and Australia, among others, have already allowed a fourth dose of the vaccine against COVID-19. The US FDA, in fact, recently proposed that vaccine against COVID-19 could be made an annual exercise with regular updates, as is the case with influenza vaccines. A similar suggestion was also made by WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus in his list of recommendations released on Monday. It stated that countries should plan for integration of COVID vaccination into life course immunization programs. Dr. Rajiv Jayadevan, co-chairman of the COVID Task Force of the Indian Medical Association, said India is witnessing the longest surge-free gap currently. There has not been any significant surge in COVID-19 cases for 11 months now. The need of the hour is to continue genomic surveillance to spot the COVID trend early on and decide on further steps need to fight the pandemic as per the evolving situation, he said. When India started vaccination against COVID-19 two years ago, only two vaccines were in the market, Covaxin and COVID Shield. Now multiple options are available and an intranasal vaccine will also be available in the market soon. Unlike the existing injectable vaccines for COVID, the intranasal vaccine can be delivered through the nose as a two-dose series, four weeks apart, a total of eight drops, 0.5 ml per dose, four drops in each nostril are administered, according to Bharat Biotech that developed the vaccine called Incovac in collaboration with Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance BIRAC. A PACU under the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology. An Indian princess who became famous for playing a leading role in the British suffragette movement is to be honored with a blue plaque outside one of the houses she lived at in Britain. Sophia Dulip Singh was born into Punjabi royalty in 1876 as a daughter of Maharaja Dulip Singh last ruler of the Sikh Empire. She was the granddaughter of Maharaja Ranjit Singh, founder of the Sikh Empire. But her father had been deposed at the age of 10 by the British when the East India Company annexed Punjab at the end of the Second Anglo-Sikh War in 1849. He did move to UK aged 15 in 1854 where he was naturalized as a British citizen. He was close to Queen Victoria, who became Sophia's godmother. It was he who, as a child, had signed over the Kohinoor to Queen Victoria in 1849 as part of the Lahore Treaty. English heritage, which aims to award about 12 plaques annually, he said Sophia will be honored with a blue plaque this year through the date is yet to be confirmed. For most of her life, Sophia had felt like a pointless Sosaliet, but it was a trip to India in 1907 where she met Indian freedom fighters which brought her alive and turned her into a revolutionary. On November 18, 1910, known as Black Friday, Sophie Allen with suffragette Emmeline Punk 
Hearst lead 300 women to parliament demanding the right for women to vote. They were made by police and many of them were assaulted and over 100 were arrested. Finally, in 1918, women in Britain aged above 30 were given a qualified right to vote. The Blue Plaque Scheme celebrates the link between significant figures of the past and the buildings in which they lived and worked. Several other Indian figures have blue plugs including Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru and Dadabhai Nauroji.